Hello Leo, welcome to your February 2021 love reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's take a look at your oracle cards, Leo. This can be reversed energy, of course, and if you're cross-watching, this could be a Leo that you're dealing with. I want to start with the Frog Prince here. This is from the Fairy Tale Oracle, Lucy Cavendish, one of my favourite decks. This card, although there's the old tale, of course, of uh, kissing a lot of frogs before you find your prince. In this case, what I'm getting around this is it's about intimacy and being open to uh, relationships coming closer to other people there's a feeling around this leo it's either you or the other person that's uh, keeping relationships keeping emotions at a distance we also have the card of arrow of course when we look at this it, it feels a uh, very uh, archer like so you may be dealing with a sagittarius but not necessarily i do feel there's an energy around this of laser focus somebody well it feels a little bit like cupid actually cupid's arrow so it feels like love is trying to find its way to a, a leo here but the leo is putting their shields up and, and resisting resisting this arrow of love now the energy between the two here we have rhythms it's a beautiful energy of uh, nature mother earth but mostly I'm picking it up as finding a natural rhythm, needing to ground oneself, find that rhythm. There may be an energy here of needing to find that within oneself. That could be why you're holding this arrow at bay. It feels like it, it wants to reach its destination, but it's, it can't. It, it feels like it's stuck. This arrow of love is stuck. It doesn't seem to be able to penetrate this shield it's almost like a uh, you've built up a really tough skin here leo and gosh is it any wonder because i feel like you've been through a lot and you've you've had to build up this tough skin but the problem is this arrow can't penetrate it so letting someone in leo seems to be the problem but let's take a look i've already meditated on your energy this can of course be reversed so let's see what we have here for you, Leo. Either side can resonate. I'll start with uh, your energy here. Message for Leo, please. And one more. Okay. I've got my 2021 year ahead forecasts out. So if you haven't checked those out, already the link is down below but let's get started here we've got to, we'll start with a, a card which signifies your energy leo where you currently stand where you hope to stand with this in the future how you're viewing the other person how you've perceived them in the past your doubts and fears around this what's happening in your environment that's affecting you and your potential outcome for the other person i'll be using the thoth tarot in the upright and remember, either side can be resonant. General reading, of course. I can't dictate which way the energy is going to come out. But if I pick up a strong feminine or masculine energy, either side, doesn't matter gender, it's mainly the energies, I will let you know. So let's see, the energy around the person that uh, Leo is focused on in the month of February card which signifies them where they currently stand where they hope to stand around this in the future how they are viewing you here Leo how they've perceived you in the past their doubts and fears what's happening in their environment and the potential outcome only reading uprights in the Thoth. Okay, let's take a look. Beautiful energy of finding that natural rhythm between the two of you. I do get this energy of arrows missing. I have to see which side is which here, but let's take a look. Okay. I feel this is the frog prince over on this side. Here he is. He's the emperor. 
Oh yeah, he's Mr. Grumpy. I, I feel like this, uh, Leo, it could be you. I mean, are you grumpy? Or you, you might be. I'm picking up some, like, aches and pains. They might be making you grumpy. Uh, age, of course, that makes us all grumpy. But there's a feeling around you here of being a little bit uh, stubborn, uh, stuck in your, uh, you're stuck in your... Uh, your rut, your routine, keeping people at a distance, saying, I'm okay. There's strength in this card, but there's also walls. The Emperor is not an emotional type. He is truthful, that's one thing. I, I, I get an energy of you being very truthful. I mean, I don't think that you're le leading anyone on. You're probably coming out and being quite blunt. But where's the emotion here? Well, I don't feel that there is any. The other person we have the, uh, the six of coins here, gain. Okay. Well, this person over here... No, sorry, it's not the six, it's the three. That's a strange... Look like a six to me, but then we have the three. The three. The three of coins. Three of pentacles. Okay. What I'm getting around this is this person wants to come in and, and share. I feel like they're doing pretty well for themselves. Maybe not luxury, but they, they seem to be employed. I feel like the feminine energy over here is... Uh, it's someone who I feel is, is very self-sufficient. I get self-sufficiency here, independent. But would like a partner, I, I get that. I get somebody here who doesn't need a partner, but they'd like a partner. They're looking at you, at looking at this Leo over here, but this Leo is, is kind of being a bit grumpy. Yeah, I, I, I get that this, uh, I get the feminine energy here is trying to come into this masculine energy. Ooh. They keep trying. They're, they're still there. I feel like they're still trying. Where you currently stand, Leo, the Page of Pentacles. Well, that's that's pretty good. I mean, I think that you're taking a pentacle from this person and saying, okay, well, accept what I can. It feels like friendship at the moment. It, fe it feels very um, <coughs> platonic, if you will. Uh, for some of you... You're keeping this person as a friend, as an acquaintance. Let's see, where does the other person currently stand? They've got the card of judgment. Mm, okay, well it, it appears that although this person has been quite patient, focused, they may be starting to realize that they, if they're not if you're not forthcoming, Leo, that they may need to make a judgment to point their arrow of love elsewhere. Mm. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got the two of pentacles. You know, it seems like you're trying very hard on to get your your money, to get your finances, to get your get yourself stable and grounded. I get that, Leo. And remember, this can be vice versa. I'm getting this very strongly as a masculine energy. The masculine here wants to make sure that they have their life in order. It doesn't seem like you're allowing much time for love, but it feels like in the future you do want to take this one pentacle and make it two. This person also has three pentacles. So I feel like they've, they've given one pentacle away to you as friendship here, which you've taken. And in the future, I feel that you're looking at making this two pentacles. So it, it feels to me like you are looking at this person as potentially a partner for you in the future. And you're being quite uh, pragmatic about it. And it feels like um, you're looking at this as long-term investment um, potential I'm not picking up like love or anything uh, yet uh, this feels very much like uh, 
feels very practical. Four of Cups over here uh, for them. This person just wants to be in a, a stable place when it comes to their emotions. I feel like when it comes to their finances, they're doing okay. They're, they seem to be gainfully employed, working away. But what's missing in their life is the emotional component. Uh, they feel... It seems like this person here has got their life pretty well sorted this is a feminine except for this uh, this love the love part yeah they're looking for love now to be honest with you leo i feel like they're although they have this arrow trained on you if you'll notice in this spread the way that the feminine is coming up the arrow is now pointing away from you So it feels to me like there's some kind of turning point here where if this if the feminine doesn't get their needs met here they may start pointing their arrows somewhere else how you're viewing them the six of pentacles okay yeah so again this <laughs> That's the thing, I'm getting this very strong energy that this is someone who can bring value into your life. Value meaning all of the material things that you could possibly be wanting in terms of day-to-day -day life. The thing with an emperor is that he's thinking very rationally. And I feel that you're thinking very rationally about how this person can provide value to you. You can provide value to them. You want things to be fair and balanced, equal. You want it to be natural. You want to make sure that you're coming from a place of being very grounded, very stable. So it looks pretty good at the moment here, Leo, but on your side, I'm a little bit concerned about the feminine here. So let's see. We've got the world card as how they're viewing you. Gosh, yeah. Mm. Judgment and then the world. this person already has i feel like they already have material things they already have that stability they already have that groundedness what's missing is the emotion and i feel that if they if the emotion isn't in this i get that this person is looking for love they're looking for the they're not looking for a paycheck they're not looking for money they're looking for, for love. How you've perceived them in the past, yeah, they're the, there's those arrows of love. Yeah. They were pointing at you, Leo, but now I feel like they're, they're pointing elsewhere, or they're about to be. Goodness. We've got the nine of pentacles here as how they've perceived you in the past. Yeah. So that's what I mean. I feel like this person here is very stable within themselves, very self-sufficient, independent. You're independent too, Leo, the masculine energy here. I feel like you were in close contact. I'm getting text messages, emails, mostly texts, I feel, uh, coming backwards and forwards living quite separately though i feel very, it was very separate lives but in a, a lot of contact you, you are in contact but i feel like that contact has dwindled your doubts and fears we've got the six of swords in the reverse i think you're fearing that this person is is getting ready to uh, to give up here and head on out and I feel that you're right Leo their doubts and fears is the uh, the two of uh, I feel like this is the two of wands unity unity it's not cups energy
No, actually, it's the Two of Pentacles. It's very hard to tell here with this deck. It, it's it's a very interesting deck, but uh, sometimes they can be a little bit abstract. So yeah, there, there's two Pentacles here. They're, they're signified by these roses. Two of Pentacles, unity. Well, that's the two of you coming together, you know. This very separate kind of energy that I'm feeling around the two of you, very much keeping your lives separate. Your external influence here, Leo, is the High Priestess. I feel like that's this person. Uh, the thing is, you were keeping them at a distance. Now I feel that the energy is going both ways. I feel like this communication has dwindled or maybe even stopped altogether. And now there's this, there's this energy of distance between the two of you. We've got the lovers as the, uh, the, uh, the uh, external influence for them. Yeah, I feel like this person has a choice. Uh, they have a choice in love, guys. Yeah, very, uh, I feel like this person that you've been keeping at arm's length is uh, a catch. The feminine energy here is a catch. I feel they're very uh, stable financially. Uh, they seem to be stable within themselves. They have somebody else, I feel, a choice of lovers, guys. A choice of lovers. Mm, yeah, this arrow could be starting to point elsewhere. The outcome for you is the Page of Wands. Mm, Leo, well, it's about time. You're going to start to uh, ramp up the energy again with this particular person. And for them, we've got the Five of Wands. Mm, yeah. Well, they're, they're going to have competition for for their... Uh, for, for, their, for them. They're going to have competition for them. So you're going to come forward here. I feel like there's also going to be other at least one other person, possibly more. Uh, this person, I'm getting an energy of uh, dating, dating websites. Yeah, I feel like this person is starting to uh, to open up and expand their horizons. They they have other people. Uh, they have people that are um, wanting them. And my goodness, I think you're starting to realize that. Uh, Leo, if you want this, you're going to have to kind of step up here. But again, where's the emotion? I do get passion from you, Leo, but I don't get emotion. I get, I get pragmatism, I get um, passion, but where's the emotion? You may have misread this feminine energy as someone who... Uh, wasn't requiring that but they do i feel that this feminine energy absolutely does want that they uh, they have a lot of people that are very passionate about them you know, maybe people who just want a good time you know social media uh, dating sites that kind of thing even you leo may have just kept this person as a passionate encounter keeping them at bay in terms of uh, emotions, just keeping it as a very physical attraction. So that's not a problem for this person. They have that. They have that in spades. What they want is the emotional connection. Leo, that's what I'm picking up. So let's see <coughs> if this is your story. We'll take this to the extended. But before I go, I want to pull a card from the Oracle of the Fairies. For this reading. Now if you're interested in the extended the link will be down below. About a 30 or so minute reading and I'll be clarifying here going much more in depth. So if this is your story please do join me there. But let's have a look here Leo. What do we have? Believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern lights says you are part of nature so you are magical too. And it's interesting because we've got this nature card here. So there's something very natural, a very natural, but also very magical connection between the two of you here, Leo. And uh, I feel that it's something that you need to pay more attention to. Stop thinking about this as more of like a practical arrangement and start to open up your mind to something that 
is trying to uh, to get through some kind of uh, intuitive ping, some kind of spiritual download. You may be seeing signs, you may just be feeling a, a very strong spiritual connection, you're not certain what that is, it may be new to you. An emperor here doesn't normally look at the high priestess as something that is uh, worthy of his time. He tends to think of rules, what is known, the unknown here, mystery, secretive energy is, is something that he doesn't quite understand. So it may be that, it may be that one person is very spiritual, the other is very, I want to say, very earthbound, let's just say that, very connected. Yeah, one, one is very earthbound, the other person is very uh, spiritual, maybe even magical. Uh, uh, there may be some psychic energy here. Very strong attraction between the two of you, that's for certain. But this person is also very attractive to other people as well. And I feel that's that's what needs to be acted upon. Quite quickly, I feel, the communication needs to be opened up. Something needs to be expressed. I feel it. you need to come forward with the truth here, Leo. Especially if you're looking at a future with this person, which I feel that you are. Maybe you're not able to express yourself emotionally right now, but there is something that you can say to this person. And it feels like you, you want this person to not exactly wait. I don't get that. I don't feel that you're expecting this person to wait for you. I just get this feeling of you, you need to open open up a little bit more and let them in. As much as you possibly can at this point in time, Leo. Express your needs, express your thoughts about the future. Where Where is this going? Because I feel like this person is starting to uh, see that they have other opportunities around them. So Leo, let's take this to the extended again. The link is down below if you're interested. And uh, if you prefer a personal reading, you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or feel free to uh, purchase directly at my Etsy shop. The link is also in the box below. Please like, share and subscribe. I'd love to have you if you're a newcomer. Please also consider joining my band of gypsies if you're a regular watcher. You can join me at the supporter level or you can level up and, uh, and get the early access to the readings. And you can click on the join button or look in the box below for more information. Wishing you the best with this, Leo. I'll see you in part two or I'll speak to you again very soon. Please take care.